What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. As you guys know, I'm ramping up. Take some time in this video to talk about some other things non Mayweather Pacquiao related. And this is, um, I guess you could say, rumor. And this, this is the thing with reporting. When you're reporting stuff like for credibility's sake and whatnot, you have to use very um, ambiguous terminology at times just because it's boxing. And deals like they were talking about making Mikey Garcia, Yuri York is Gamboa, and it never left the cutting room floor and the fight never came about. So things like that you can't really account for. So the things I say in this video, take it for what it's worth. And um, I want to give you guys the news. Timothy Bradley is likely to face Jesse Vargas in June in Los Angeles. So I want to know from you guys what you guys think of that. And again, I have to say the term likely. They're talking about making it at the end of June. And I want to know what you guys think of that particular fight. Bradley off of a, a performance against Diego Chavez that led to a draw. I thought Bradley beat Diego Chavez, but the judges seen it otherwise and it ended in a draw. Obviously, the headbutt didn't help because Diego Chavez did win some rounds in there. And then um, as far as Vargas, he was on the Pacquiao Algeria undercard and he fought against Antonio DeMarco. And he looked pretty good with Roy Jones Jr. So let me know what you guys think. Roy Jones Jr. training Jesse Vargas. Is that enough to beat a guy like Desert Storm Timothy Bradley in June? So I will keep you guys posted if if and when this becomes official. I will um, let you guys know. And then the other piece of news that I've heard now. This is a pretty reliable source that's close to the situation. They're saying that Al Heyman has been talking to he had a more rigging down. Now in the past... Rock Nation wanted Rigondeaux and different people. But my source is saying that there might be a deal. I think um, Rigondeaux is going to enter free agency here soon. And I guess Al Heyman is looking at signing him. So I want to know what you guys think hypothetically if that is true. And if that deal does come into fruition, what does that do for Rigondeaux's career? A guy who's had a tough time getting fights based on his skill level, based on the excuse and scapegoat that he's not marketable and people don't want to see him and stuff like that. So do you think Al Heyman can give him a, a, a surge, a power boost, if you will, with his career? So that's a quick video. I want to give you guys some updates. Let me know what you guys think. Timothy Bradley versus Jesse Vargas. Do you like the fight? Do you hate it at 147? And if Guillermo Rigondeau is to sign to Al Heyman, what do you think of that? And what do you think that does for his career? Who would you like to see him fight next? Drop me a comment. Make sure you like my video. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off.